Introduction to the News Vendor Model. The News Vendor Model can be uh, explained using the following example. A newspaper vendor must decide how many copies of a daily newspaper to stock in the face of uncertain demand and knowing that unsold copies will be worthless at the end of the day. So the problem that the news vendor is uh, facing is that if he or she stocks too many newspapers, uh, she or he will be left with worthless inventory. And then stocking too few will result in lost sales and so a, loss, a cost of lost opportunity to make extra profit. In this series of these videos on the news vendor model, we will consider the following example. The example focuses on the O'Neill Company, which is a, a company that designs and manufactures apparel, wetsuits and accessories for water sports. Uh, most of its products sell only in one season due to changing fashion. And some of O'Neill's products are made in Asia and when they are sold in the United States, Right, this has a benefit of having a lower cost, but uh, un unfortunately it leads to a long lead time, in this case a three-month lead time. So basically if O'Neill orders an item on uh, November 1st, uh, they can expect to receive it at the end of January. So to better understand the problem, we will focus on one of uh, the O'Neill's products called Hammer 3-2 Wetsuit. For this product, we see a timeline on this picture. Uh, first, we have to generate a forecast of demand by the uh, beginning of November, and this is when we have to, right, O'Neill has to submit an order to the supplier uh, that is uh, located far, uh, far away. Then uh, O'Neill has to wait for three months. At the end of January, O'Neill receives the order from the supplier, and this is when the demand, uh, when the selling season uh, begins. For six months, O'Neill will be selling this product. And then in, sometime in August, August uh, the, the leftover units in inventory will have to be somehow disposed of, for example, by selling them at a discount in, inside the store or selling them to another store which, uh, at, at a much lower price. Some economic inputs to this problem are the following. O'Neill sells the, the, the product, the wetsuit, at the price of $190 per unit. Um, the cost that they pay to the supplier is $110 per unit, so it looks like a, a very decent profit margin. The salvage value is $90 per unit, so that means uh, with the, when O'Neill has to discount the product, they sell it uh, $20 below the cost that they paid for. And this actually doesn't have to be um, a, a value, a salvage value for every unit. But what is important is that it's uh, some kind of uh, average value. So we might discount from 190 by 10%, 30%, 50%, .50 and maybe at some point by 70%, right? And, uh, we will not look at all the possible prices, we will just look at one salvage value that somehow averages the value of the uh, leftover stock. So the problem is, of course, of having too many or too few uh, wetsuits. If we have too many, inventory is left over at the end of the season and needs to be sold at a discount. If we order, if we order too many, if we order too few, sales will be lost, right? We will have a shortage. We might sell before the end. Uh, we might sell all the units before the end of the season, and then some customers might, wa might want the suit after it has already been sold out. Now, marketing is forecasting uh, that the demand will be 3,200 units. So the question is, should we just blindly follow uh, marketing forecasts? 3,200 is what we should order, or should we order more or maybe less? And why? The steps that we will follow in this uh, problem are the following. First, we need to gather some economic inputs, as we discussed just a moment ago. Uh, it, these are three 
prices or $3 values, uh, selling price, uh, the cost of procuring uh, or obtaining the product from the supplier, and the salvage value, the value that we can get for unsold units. Um, then we, want, we, we also need to uh, generate a demand forecast. Um, and this is important that we actually generate a demand distribution. We shouldn't use a single point forecast. Uh, and uh, we can either do, use an empirical distribution or we can use a standard distribution like normal or Poisson. Third, we need to choose an objective that we want to optimize. We might uh, typically focus on maximizing the expected profit. And of course, this objective will definitely require the economic inputs. Or we might want to focus on uh, optimizing a certain service level or achieving a desired service level like in stock probability or, or fill rate. Once we decide the objective, we're ready to find or choose the quantity that we want to order that will satisfy our objective. 